Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3! Since last time, I did all the level grinding, got the hero up to level 38 to learn the Mighty Heal Us All spell. It restores everyone to maximum HP, just like the Valor spell in Lufia, or, well, the other way around, actually, but we also learned Vivify for him, if that could be useful at some point in time. And also, the Sage learned uh, Be Dragon which is very useful for taking on metal battles because it can pierce their defense. You transform into a dragon, and if they don't run away in the first round, you'll kill them in the second round. So that's pretty nice. And we also learned Invisible for some reason. I don't know why they would give it to you at this point. but And we can also learn the Heal Us spell at level 34. It restores uh, quite a good amount of HP to uh, everyone. It's like Heal More, but on everyone. So that's pretty nice. That would have been really nice against Baromos, but, well, I didn't have that. And as for my setup here, I got uh, Shields of Strength for everyone here, so you can use that in battle to cast Heal more on yourself. I picked up the Orochi Sword for my soldier back at the vault there, I just threw it away there for a little while. And uh, most importantly, uh, well maybe not for this part, but uh, I got the Sword of Illusion back for my fighter there, only ladies can use it. But most importantly, the Sphere of Light. If you did not get it from the Dragon Queen earlier, go back there and do it now, when her when she dies and leaves her son there, you get the Sphere of Light in your inventory there. It's very, very important for continuity. So, let's go take out Zoma to some fine Italian dinner. No, no, we're just going to kill him. But anyway, now we got, well, they're not new enemies, but we're going to fight them a little differently because now we can actually cast spells on them. I want to use Limbo on the Troll King there to take him out quickly. One thing that I'm going to do in Zoma's castle now is I'm going to start using spells like Limbo and Expel, which prevent you from gaining experience, but because I don't care about experience anymore, I might as well use them to take out enemies a lot quicker. So that's really nice. Yeah, we're going to be using a lot of instant death spells here. Of course, they only work well if you know what the enemy resistances are. Which I do! You see all those doors with stairs behind them? Just ignore those. They, uh, loop around to each other, so, yeah, that's pretty bad. But here, with the green dragon, since they're all in one group, let's use instant death on them! Ha 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 ha! How do you like that? Yeah! Yeah! Take that! After the last game. Woohoo! Yeah, last game defeat wouldn't work too well on them. If you have a wizard in your party, ice spells work well on those dragons too. Now to get to Zoma, pretty much go the same way you did in Dragon Warrior 1. You gotta go straight up the middle, but things are a little different this time around. What the? Don't be afraid to use your healing spells here too, because we got three wizard's rings. We're gonna pick up another one here too. Something's supposed to be happening around here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, for some reason, uh, I don't know exactly what triggers this dialogue. You just gotta walk around long enough and then these guys start talking to you, I guess. Okay, well, let's take them out. Um, let's see. Fire spells work pretty well on them, so let's use the Thunder Sword there. Uh, let's see, I want to use Limbo, see if I can get lucky to uh, take one of them out rather quickly, because they do have a lot of HP, so... Well, that didn't work so well. Well, we'll still get them all the same. Maybe uh, Christos used that uh, uh, the shield of strength there on himself. He's... Yeah, we're all taking quite a beating here. Ow! Okay, um... Well, I don't want everyone to do that, so... Yeah, you use your shield of strength. I can always heal all solo later. But basically, what you gotta do in this room here is... Like I said, I don't know exactly what triggers it. But I think if you just walk around back and forth long enough, these guys will come to life for whatever reason, and then you'll fight more of them. So you gotta fight these guys, the statues, in pairs until you take them all out in order to get out of the room. So I'll probably just take care of that off screen. And yeah, you see, there's those guys. So I think it's based on the number of steps you take or something like that. But yeah, I'll take these guys out. And one more. All right, got them all there. And you see the barriers are gone there, so. Huh, we're at the throne room, but no one's home. Huh, maybe this was a trap. No, nah. no, nah, we gotta walk around here. Remember what that thief was saying back there? Well, you gotta search behind the throne here 
to find a secret passage! But you gotta walk off of it and then get back on it. There's no stairs command. Yeah, that's just a wall there. You can't just fall down there, so... Now, yeah, those stairs, they lead to a dead end. Don't b bother with them. Now, this is the part that a lot of people have been dreading. Okay, let's see what I can do here. You press right, right, left. There we go. Up, up, up. Right, right, right. Then left, left, up, up, up. Right, up, up, right, right. Oh! Crap! I screwed up. Um, which way do I go now? I can't even see the damn tile beneath me. Uh, well, I'm gonna assume that this is the right way. Okay, whew! Okay, then we press right. Oh, okay. No, we press left. Up, left. Okay, there we go. We made it. Whew! I almost didn't make that one, viewers. Okay, well... We're in the clear now, but we do have some, some new enemies here. Okay, we got Swordoids and... What's that other guy? Putragon. They're all weak to Expel. So, let's go... Yeah, let's use Expel on him. Uh, you go after one of the Swordoids, just in case. And you use Expel, because, like I said, I don't care about getting any more uh, gold or experience from these battles, so they're all fairly susceptible to it. I mean, they got a little bit of resistance, but not that much. But, yeah, you see, you get nothing from the battle, but, like I said, I don't care. I just want to get through these guys. They got some attacks. Well, yeah, of course they have attacks. Uh, let's see, Swordoids can use Heal more, and Putragons can use some Blizzard Breath, but nothing that I'm really worried about. There's a chest down there in the lower left. It contains a double-edged sword. Not worth it. So, I'm just going to head straight to my goal. Straight to the end. Well, maybe not the end, but getting towards the end. Oh, apparently, uh, Zoma decided not to keep that many monsters around. Maybe they, maybe he was worried they might try to revolt or take over or do bad things. Alright, and after that battle, I was fighting some Swordoids. I actually won a Snowblast Sword. I have never gotten one of those. I would imagine you using a battle to cast Snowblast. It would have been good a long time ago, but... Well, there you go! Huh, that's kind of weird there. Huh, alright. Yeah, uh, Zoma's Castle is actually not very long when you know where to go. Actually, that's pretty much the case for the entire game, really. And here we got a new enemy, Lion Roars. Uh, let's see, these guys, Infermost is the way to go. So let's use the Sword of Kings there. And also, what else? Uh, you know what, this would be a good time to use Rob Magic. Uh, they can cast Bounce on themselves, so you might want to watch out for that. But, uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, get a little bit of MP back, use Infermost. That's pretty much the way to go. Uh, let's see, also, they can use, like I said, they can cast Bounce, they can cast Blazemost and Fermost. Unfortunately, Crowd Control, partially because of the Bounce, doesn't really work too well on them. So, yeah, now that we've reduced their numbers, let's just go all out and finish them up. Alright, there we go. Yeah, there's the stairs we're looking for, but it's going to take us a little while to get over there. So, let's just, uh, cross this bridge here, then. Oh, hey, there's someone over there. Who's that? Who's that other guy? Kind of looks like the guys from the intro. Hey, it's Ortega! He's alive! And the King Hydra, they've been fighting this whole time? Wow. Yeah, this fight's going to be uh, going on for a while, viewers. But can Ortega defeat his nemesis at long last? Can we defeat Zoma? Will the Ball of Light, I mean, Sphere of Light, Conquer the darkness and save the world? Find out next time on the finale of Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! Yeah, he's going to be casting heal all on himself for a while.